Hey again, Adrian from Onsite Helper. This video will be covering Google Hangouts Meet and Chat. So we'll be doing a starting off with an overview, um, discussing Hangouts chat groups versus rooms, uh, ways you can easily access the Hangouts apps and meets, how to do video calls, um, how to record your video meetings, uh, booking video meetings from your calendar, and how to do a live stream to many. So we've really got three products. We've got Google Hangouts, um, Hangouts Chat, and Hangouts Meet. So Google Hangouts has actually been replaced by, what well, has been replaced by Chat, and it'll be discontinued in October 2019. So Hangouts and Chat are instant messaging service, similar to your, like your Facebook Messenger or SMS, where you're sort of sending messages backwards and forwards uh, with people, but more so just for internal use within the company. Whereas Hangouts Meet is more for video conferencing. To begin with, you want to install the uh, desktop app. And to do that, go to this website, chat.google.com uh, forward slash download and download the, uh, the web app. Uh, it's also a great idea to install it on your mobile phone. Um, you can get it from Android and iOS. Once that's done, uh, you'll be able to see the app on your computer. Uh, so this is the old Hangouts, which is being discontinued. You can see people messaging on the right, on the left here, and then your conversations in the middle. Um, you can copy and paste sort of images as well. Um, that compared to the newer Google Chat, uh, which looks like this, um, just a little application. Um, and then you sort of open up uh, the message here, um, from messages that way. So you can start a new message by clicking on the plus, um, put in someone's name, and then that'll either open up a new message or continue with a previous one. Um, it's got this predictive text, which is can be pretty handy as well, where it can sort of guess what your next answer might be. Um, and then you've got these things for rooms as well. So you click on the plus, you can either create a group message or create a room. So with a group message, what that is, is you basically, you can either type someone's name in um, and then tick them. So what this will do is this is basically selecting a bunch of people. Um, and then when you click on the tick arrow, then if I send a message, it will be broadcasted to all these three people at once, um, and then everyone can sort of communicate all in, all in the one chat room. So the difference with that in, um, we've also got, I'll show you again as well, uh, creating a room. So the room is um, basically similar to, to a group where you've got more than one person in there. But with this, uh, let's see if we call it a help desk. This is basically uh, a room where you get multiple people um, can come and come and go into the into the room as or well, into the group as they like. Um, you can also remove people. Whereas when you do um, the the group, which I showed you before, once you sort of create that conversation, you can't really add or remove people. That's sort of that that group there. If you add more people, then it becomes a new sort of chat room or oh, chat group. Sorry. Whereas this way, you can add. And remove people and people can come and go as they as they like as well so again you'd add in the people um, take that one uh, you can also add in bots so but bots are quite interesting that's sort of like a sort of like a, an automated task um, there's one for for calendaring so you can basically type in um, Click on this, um, we'll just scroll down to the bots here. You've got a lot of third party apps, but there's one for calendar. Um, where is it? It's called the Meet Bot. Uh, so what this bot will do is it enables you to um, create a message um, and let's say if you're having a conversation with the group of people and you're trying to organize a meeting or catch up an appointment, um, you can just message the bot. So you can type in at uh, meet, which is a bot name. And then you could say something like, um, 
when's everyone available to meet? What that bot then does is goes through everyone's Google Calendar and finds out their available um, time slots, and then it will make a, a bunch of recommendations for available um, meetup times. All right, now I'm going to Hangouts Meet, which is a video conferencing service. So to do that, open up a browser, click on the nine G Suite apps, click on Meet, Um, this just shows your appointments. You can just jump straight in, click on start a meeting, give it a name. Click on join. So this is uh, the video meeting starting. Now, you can get people to dial this number uh, with this PIN number from a mobile phone or regular phone, office phone. Um, otherwise, a better way to do is to invite them in so you can see them. So i use one of my engineers as an example. So what this will do is I'll send them an email and they can join in whenever they like. Um, yeah, so as you can see, the meeting started. So you can present your screen by clicking on that, and that'll display whatever is on your screen. So if you had a Google Doc, you wanted to show the meeting, you just sort of switch between slides. Um, you can turn on captions. So this gives you the functionality of, um, as you can see, as you talk, it automatically types it in for you. And same with the other people. Uh, looks like Boston's just jumped in now. G'day Boston, how you doing? I'm fine myself. Ah, good. How's it going today? All good. Cool. No worries. So, um, a couple of other features, if you click on this in the bottom right hand corner, um, you can record the meeting. So if you click on that, that'll um, yeah, obviously record your meeting. It will save it to a Google Drive for you and then you can share it with others. We actually use it for uh, internal training. So we record how to do something within the business and then um, and, yeah, use it for training videos for future staff, which is very handy. Uh, what else do we have here? Obviously you can turn the captions off. Um, you can dial in by a phone. Um, so that's it for that's it for hangout smeet. Thanks for your time, Boston. Cheers. Bye bye. The best way to create video meeting appointments is to actually use Google Calendar. To do that, we'll open up a new tab, click on the nine dots, and open up Google Calendar. And what you want to do is basically create an appointment for obviously the future and invite those guests to that appointment. So when that appointment happens, um, then everyone can just jump in the meeting. So to do that, let's say tomorrow at around three, three o'clock, we'll uh, just create an appointment by clicking on that square there. Um, we'll just call it meeting. Here you'd add in the guests. And by default, it will create the um, join with Hangouts Meet. Um, if you had different other options, you could click on here as well. So we'll just save that one. Send them the invite. Okay, and then let's say if it was tomorrow, um, this meeting would pop up around 3.30. I'd click on it and then just jump in by clicking on that link. And so with the other guest, um, and that way you guys both jump, everyone just jumps in the meeting all at once. Um, very easy to do. So a lot of people aren't aware of another feature that Google offer, which is live streaming. So similar to uh, your video meetings, you can do a live stream to you know thousands of people if you wanted to. 
Um, to do that, you open up a, the Google Calendar again, uh, choose an appointment date for your live stream event, um, give it a name, and then um, save that one. Click on the event, edit the details. And here you can, under Google Hangouts Meet Conference, you can choose the option to add live stream. And that's pretty much it. So you just copy that link. You then email this link um, to everyone that you want to attend that live stream. And then on the day that it happens, what you do is you click on your event. So this is a this is a link that everyone would see, watch live stream, but in your case you're going to be presenting. So you join Hangout Meet. Just close that one so it doesn't confuse. So join it, obviously you can present, you can, with a live stream, you can have uh, many others start, join it as well. So I guess first you'd invite your other guests if other people will be presenting, uh, get everything ready. If you want to record it, you can record it as well. But when you're ready to do the stream, then you just simply click live stream. And then that will start streaming and um, everyone with that link for the live streaming will be able to uh, jump in and, and see your presentation. So that pretty much wraps up uh, Google Hangouts uh, Meet and Chat. I hope this has been beneficial for you and you can use some of these tools um, to help you with your day-to-day -day operations. Thanks for your time.